Hey everyone, it's Onglor. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here. Today I'll be sharing a mod with you for a Skyrim Special Edition that adds a very nice player home just outside of Morthal. And I'll tell you what, the first time I walked inside this home, I absolutely enjoyed it. Don't let the outside fool you. It may look a little small or even cozy, but once you step inside, there are a lot of rooms and everything you will ever need is located within this house. So what we're going to do right now is take a tour of the inside of the house to see what it actually holds. Okay, so before we get started with that, as you can see just over the bridge here past the lumber mill, there is the house. And I do like the way the outside looks. It looks like it's actually a part of the town. So once you actually find the home, all you have to do is just head up to the stairs. And then once you look over to the left, there will be a bill of sale it's not there for me because i already picked it up and i believe the house was around seven point so a little bit seven thousand five hundred gold which is not too much at all so now let's take a look at the inside when i first stepped inside i really enjoyed the fact that you were greeted with a rather large dining room table it makes it feel like an actual home i've always preferred the smaller homes myself so this one was right up my alley Okay, and as you can see off to the left, we have two doors here. One of them is to a guest room or what I would consider a guest room. But as a matter of fact, these rooms look so good in my opinion that I would actually live and sleep in them as well. And here is the second one. As you can see, there's a sweet roll and some mead waiting for the guests. So if they get hungry, they don't even have to leave their room. Also, one of the things I noticed about this home right away was the detail. I really liked the manner of detail that this mod author created for the home. And look it, there's even a whole spread out right here just waiting for us. I can already feel my mouth watering just looking at that sweet roll. All right, through this door here, I believe is our bedroom, the master bedroom, which looks rather nice in my opinion. And once again, the attention to detail. I like how the helmets over here are on display and you can't pick them up, which I like because sometimes on accident I'll, you know, loot stuff I don't intend to and I'd rather have it in its place. So that's a nice feature that I like as well. So I do like the size of this bedroom because, you know, being dragonborn and all, I really don't do much sleeping. I'm always out adventuring. Okay, so there is another door right over here as soon as you enter the home. And there it is, an alchemy table. And then also to the right, I believe, is an enchanting table. And that's one of the selling points of any home to me is, does it have enchanting alchemy stations in it and all crafting stations? If it does, then normally I am very happy. So I think that's a nice little corner to have all your little supplies in. Okay, and once we head through this door, I was very pleasantly surprised to see there's a little bar area right here. So you can send the children outside or off to play somewhere while the adults enjoy some good old fashioned mead. And I do like the way it's set up as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead down these stairs here. This was the selling point for me. When I first saw this, I was like, whoa, this is just absolutely awesome. I mean, how cool is it to have an indoor pool? Now there is a button to the left of me that has an auto dress feature so once you go down in there it will auto undress you or your followers you can simply turn it on or off and then once we head up the stairs you can notice a staircase right in front of us so once we take the stairs up it's like a little loft slash library and also it's a children's bedroom which can hold up to six children if you wish to do so but if you don't have any children there is a button in here as well off to the left of the door where once you press it, you can convert it into a follower's room. So if you're a dragonborn that likes to get busy, then here is a place to have your kids sleep. And as you can see right there off to the right is a button if you don't have any children, so you can make it into a follower's room. I do like it up here. And then what we're gonna do right now is head through this door to enjoy some wonderful scenery as we saw from the opening clip. You can come down here, you're kind of hidden behind the shrubs, that's something I like. It's like a little secretive place. You can come sit down, relax, and enjoy the wonderful view around you. All right, so what we're gonna do is simply head back in through the doors, 
And once you do, to your left there is a little trap door that will take you down to the main hall. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take a look around here. As you can see, we have all the crafting that we need. And there's a smelter over there. And right behind us over here, I believe, is the other benches that we need. Now, just to let you know, when you do go through that trap door, it'll take you to the bar area. You just head straight through the twin doors, and this is the last area of the house. Like I said before, it's deceptively small, but I like it because there's a lot of stuff within this house. And those doors just simply take you outside to Skyrim. And here's a little place to hold all your stuff, or just take a break if you've been crafting really hard. And down here is the last part of the house. I really like this. It's like a little brewery station down here. Or if you need to get away from everybody, you can just come downstairs and chill. That's something I would personally do. And that is the entire house. Like I said, I really love this house. And I highly recommend that you guys check it out as well. And don't forget, there will be a link for the mod in the description below. I highly recommend you guys check it out. All right, guys, as in the video, I really want to thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more Skyrim mod videos, please hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. It would definitely mean a lot to me. All right, guys, thank you once again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.